Kenya is a country without its trio top leadership. President William Ruto and Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi traveled to Burundi for Comesa Summit. This comes in the wake of Deputy President Rigathi Gachagua's ongoing impeachment court cases and the uncertainty surrounding the nomination of Kithure Kindiki for the position of the second in command. Gachagua was ousted from office on October 18th after the Senate voted to impeach him on five of 11 charges brought forth by Kibwezi West Member of Parliament, Mwengi Mutus. The decision followed a vote by the National Assembly who overwhelmingly voted to oust the embattled Deputy President. With this in mind, it begs the question of who is in charge of the country in the absence of both a President and a Deputy President. While there is no constitutional crisis following their absence from the country at the same time, questions have arisen as to who is in charge. The constitution places National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula, third in command in the country's political leadership hierarchy. Wetangula could receive any international guests, including abrupt visits or emergency landings, by heads of state on behalf of the president. If you remember, Kenya National Assembly Speaker Wetangula is a troubled man who is banned from entering US and other countries, including the United Arab Emirates. So whom can he receive? And who can't he receive on behalf of the head of state? However, in terms of operations of the executive arm of government, Mudavadi is a key plank of the president's administration. Diplomacy and political analysts argue that there is no leadership vacuum and that the president is always in charge whether within or outside the country. They argued that the head of the public service, Felix Koske, is the one overseeing the day-to-day -day running of government, being the senior public servant. You would realize that the head of the public service is a critical public servant whose mandate involves being in charge of real operations of government, including receiving all forms of intelligence. On Thursday, President Ruto arrived in Burundi to attend Comesa Summit. The head of state is set to hold trade talks with Zambian, Egyptian and Ethiopian leaders. He is also supposed to campaign for Raila Odinga's AUC bid. Musalia Mudavadi is also in Burundi holding bilateral talks. Kenya is undertaking a comprehensive review of the country's foreign policy in a move to reshape Kenya's role on the global stage.